हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन दिस चैनल गाइस आई एम राम के सिंह यूनिटी गेम डेवलपर यूट्यूबर एंड ब्लॉगर सो फ्रेंड इन टुडे ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इरर दैट आई फेस एंड आई वाज फेसिंग फ्रॉम लास्ट टू डेज सो फाइनली आई एम एबल टू रिजोल्व दिस सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू दैट हाउ आई रिजोल्व बट आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू इन प्रोजेक्ट दैट हाउ आई गॉट टू रिजोल्व बट इन टू वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू वॉट आर द स्टेप्स यू कैन चेक इट आउट एंड there is five steps and uh, from them for me work this one so in this tutorial i'm going to share with you that how you can resolve this issue so basically what happens that when you use firebase for the push notification for any server interaction you need access token from firebase so if you are not able to see access token in your android device notification will not work it might be work in your uh, editor but not in android device so basically this is the code this is the code like we subscribe token received message received so whenever uh, your application open so you get token and this message whatever you are getting from the firebase but sometimes what happens that you didn't get this token due to this you are not able to perform your notify push notification through your backend so there is might be this reason these are the major reasons like if you have updated your firebase package so let's suppose you are using 7 version and you updated uh, to 8 version so at that time you might face this kind of problem so what you have to do is just you have to go back on the older one and the second option is that you have to check on the multiple device might be you are facing just you are your uh, google play service is not updated so you have to update if it is not so if you are able to resolve so that's okay if not so third situation is with third situation is gmail login and firebase push notification like if you have implemented both at face problem because they create conflict with each other and in my case this was the issue like i am using gmail login uh, from firebase and i am using firebase push notification so what was happening that in editor it was working but when i was playing in the android editor it was working because gmail login doesn't work in editor so it was working for firebase notification but when i was running in android device so at that time it was not working because gmail is also active on android device so what i did just i changed two things like uh, in the gmail login there was some is some uh, code part uh, related to firebase that was running in the awake so i did in the start method in firebase push notification i didn't do anything and uh, if you have to code like gmail login code this code so first thing you have to make awake thing in start and second thing you have to change the execution order of your code so i am showing to you in unity that how you can change execution order so my unity is opening so let's open it i will show you that how you can change execution order but uh, first step i have explained second step i have to explain fourth one is check manifest file sometimes what happens that your manifest your manifest file didn't get updated with firebase entry so you have to check manifest file if there is no any entry of firebase so you have to just uh, enter your firebase and you can just visit on the firebase website you will get idea and the fifth one is that fifth one is just you have to check google json file and mostly it is right but in the case if there is any key de detail wrong so at that situation you will not get any your access token okay so this was the scenario and let me explain third one project and if you are going in the editor and you are going in the project setting so here you can see this is the script execution order so if you have gmail login and if you have uh, fcm code so what you can do is just you can change the execution order here you can see you can change this way or if you want to change this one so you can do the above so basically you have to uh, do first gmail and then your fcm so this will resolve your issue if you are facing this third option and you can try this all and if you are able to resolve the issue so please let me know in the comment box and please like the video and uh, if it is not resolved so just search but uh, might be you get resolved by following this thing and if you are able to resolve your issue by following any another option so please let me know in the comment box so that other people can take benefit because it is really very frustrating when you are not able to resolve any kind of issue so i just try to share my 
experience share my issues resolve re- resolve way so that other people can take benefit so don't forget to like subscribe and share bye bye take care see you in next video